I am going to keep going on. Uh, I hate this. Oh, whoops. I hate this because it makes me think that Facebook is doing something cool. Seeing the demo of this where you wear a bracelet and it can actually detect like your whole arm, like where your arm is and where your fingers are moving. So basically this is minority report stuff, right? This is how you would have the full hand controls without having to have like, uh, you know, joysticks or controllers or whatever for AR and VR. And it is funny. You have these companies with all this money they're investing in, you know, like, um, you know, Tesla doing the spaceships and electric cars and uh, Amazon doing like owning airplanes and sending satellites into space and Google, you know, doing, you know, Internet all around the world and uh, Microsoft trying to vaccinate everybody. And, 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 you know, Facebook is sitting on the similar pile of money and lots of smart people. And you're wondering, you know, what are they going to do other than, you know, like recollections? And I have heard there's been a lot of news that they're putting a lot of money into AR, VR, you know, into getting and trying to make virtual reality uh, and augmented reality, you know, practical and accessible and usable by everybody. And it sounds like just there's been so many news stories lately that they are like, uh, of course, they own um, Quest, Oculus. <coughs> Um, so they've got that, but apparently yeah, they're really going in hard and now there are, there are sort of leaks coming out and stories coming out that they have technology, which... I mean, you know, VR has been the next big thing for like 30 or 40 years now. Um, I, I remember in Germany, drunk, using a VR headset and feeling like I was going to throw up, uh, like in 1990. Um, but uh, in fact, it wasn't 1990. I was old enough to drink, so I would have would have been 1993. But uh, yeah, yeah. Apparently, they're making big jumps, and I'm really actually curious to see what they do. And although I don't like the fact it's them, I mean, if they do something cool, I can respect that. I don't think what they're really doing is very cool anymore, and they're kind of creepy to me. So, you know, if they if they can actually make something cool that I'd want to use, I'd be curious to see that. So I find that kind of interesting. Um, and one Moogle, what do I think about Neuralink then? The 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 Elon Musk Neuralink thing. I like the idea. I like the idea of putting on a uh, some sort of a cap or being able to mind control um stuff that's kind of cool but drilling a hole in your skull through the bone to implant wires no i'll wait till the wireless version comes out <laughs> uh you know i i'm okay with the idea of the technology but i am not into the idea of surgically modifying or, or trepanning my skull in order to do it you know um as much as watching the the pig uh, demonstration if that's what you're talking about that kind of freaked me out a little bit honestly but i do like the idea of um enhancing interfaces with technology i like that and certainly the idea of being able to um you know i mean if, if, if to extract memories or to be able to create images like only inside your head and be able to export that or to communicate or whatever yeah i think to be able to learn the old matrix thing of being able to have a have, be able to you know download kung fu i mean that kind of stuff yeah, i you know I, I watch black mirror all day for that kind of stuff so yeah i'm totally of course i'm excited about that kind of technology but not the part where they drill a hole in your head and, and stick some wires and not that part so we'll see i'm an optimist